previously. Are you a virgin? <laughs> I crack right now. Yeah. There we go. Hey my loves, it's Ariel and today I'm coming to you guys with a mukbang Monday. And for today's Mukbang Monday, I have a special guest here with me today. This is my cousin. What's up, guys? My name is... <laughs> Everyone, welcome, Mr. He he ha ha. Hey, guys. My name is Byron. The name of my channel is Be Real. So, we decided to do a Q&A. We mainly asked you guys on my Instagram and we both put posts up on our Snapchat story. We're doing part one over on his channel. We're doing part two over on my channel. I'll leave all his links in the description box down below. So please make sure to go check out his channel and check out part one first before you watch this part. And if you're coming from Byron's channel, then hi, welcome. Make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to like comment turn on those post notifications so you guys can become a part of my hashtag quick love gang or in following me on instagram make sure that you guys follow me on instagram at airy underscore underscore life hey guys it's ariel we're supposed to have pizza but they didn't have any pizza where we were going and i wanted an icy but when I thought it didn't have pizza, I was just like, never mind. But I have a fruit punch snapple, which is this is my favorite snapple. I have two bags of the flaming hot crunchy Cheetos, and I have a teriyaki beef jerky. And I have the Lipton Ice Peach Tea. Um, I also got the beef jerky. I got some raisin nips, you know. Oh, um, and then I got Doritos, the flaming hot kind, and two bags as well. And excuse the cutting grass and stuff. We're at a park right now, so hopefully they're not out here for long. But let's just go on ahead and get into the questions. In part one yet, definitely go on over and watch it before you watch this one. Describe each other in one word. Crazy. Goofy. <laughs> the next question is, what did you want to be when you were small? I wanted to be a teacher, but that changed real quick after I met, you know, real students. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be a teacher as well. Actually, me and Byron used to play fake school all the time. Like, we used to get off from school and make our little cousins play school with us. Or, like, if we weren't with them, we would place, like, little stuffed animals and stuff around, name them and teach them and act like we were fussing like the whole nine yards but once i got to middle school and i started to see like kids fighting and the teachers breaking it up and just how disrespectful people could be it's like that's kind of what stopped it for me ever had a nickname if so what is it i mean for me people probably call me lil byron or bj because I'm, I'm a junior. So ever since I was a baby, my dad always called me Molly or Molly Moo. I don't know where he got it from. Like, I always asked him. He was just like, he just came up with it. And when I tell people that, they're always like, well, where do you get Molly out of Ariel from? I'm just like, there's a lot of people that have nicknames that has nothing to do with their name at all. But that's just always what I've been called. And my parents and close family, they still call me Molly or Molly Lou. <laughs> Who would you want to play in a movie of your life? So like, if you could choose any actress to play your life, like a a movie of your life, who would you want it to be? I don't, that's a hard question, cause I don't really, I don't know, I don't really look at movies like that. I'm more of a series guy. I don't know, I guess I would probably say Kevin Hart because People be thinking I am a whole comedian and I'd be serious as a heart attack. Mm. I feel like there's two different people I would want. Just because I feel like they're like overall they're pretty great. 
it's Jennifer Lawrence, the different movies too. She's just a really great actor. And uh, I don't know why, but I really love Victoria like Pedretti in the series You. She played as Love. Mm. You was a good, I can't wait till the new season come out. They Same. ended that good. Mm -hmm. Comment down below if any of you guys have ever seen You. If not, what you waiting for? <laughs> Seriously, go watch it. What's your favorite color? Mine is blue. Green. I love all shades of green, y'all. What's your favorite fast food restaurant? Mine is between Izzo's and Chick-fil-A. Hmm, Chick-fil-A is a good one. I really love Wingstop. So I'm gonna say Wingstop. Because their ranch is really good, too. And I love them boneless, like the chicken places, they have the homemade ranch. Oh, yeah. And it's so weird, because like a lot of my friends would look at me and call me stupid, because they know, everybody knows I'm crazy about ranch. Oh, yeah. Like, we ranch. both had to be very crazy about ranch, because, um, you know, we used to eat, we used to have to eat this food, and it just didn't have a good taste, so you had to add ranch for it to have flavor. <laughs> we was eating mac and cheese and ranch. Wait a minute, who are you? <laughs> yeah, we literally put rinse on everything just for it to have flavor. A really hard question I feel like, what's the biggest challenge y'all faced in 2020 not dealing with the pandemic? I'm gonna let you go first. I don't even know what to think of. Cause like every, like this whole pandemic has honestly just shaped everything. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, like, I wish things were normal again, but a lot of opportunities and certain things that happened so far wouldn't have happened if we weren't in this pandemic. Yeah. Like, I don't even, I don't even know what to think of. Like, I was gonna say the way school is ran now, but then again, like, that has to do with the pandemic. So I don't know what to say. Like, I don't even know how to answer that. That's a really good question. The biggest challenge I would say for me was realizing that everybody that smiles in your face is, you know, just is really not for you. Cause they could have a lot of people plotting on your downfall and you really just have to stay diligent in what you believe and what you know your purpose is and you just cannot stray away from that. Right. No matter who comes and tries to block you, they're only blocking their blessings because at the end of the day, you know, God says vengeance is mine. So that was really something for me. I just couldn't come to terms with like, you know, why are these people not liking me when I don't even talk to them like that? But people can't be jealous of you for a reason. Like I said in part one of the video, people can't be jealous of you just because of the stuff you have. Right, and then like I feel like a lot of stuff I have noticed, even though y'all, the question said not dealing with the pandemic, this pandemic has showed a lot of yeah. people's true colors. It, it really, really has. has. Favorite holiday? Ba -la 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 from October 1st to January 1st. And people call me crazy and they're like, oh, you're passing up Thanksgiving. Honey, nobody's passing up Thanksgiving. Nobody's passing up Halloween. We can keep the scary movies and everything else, but like the the whole thing with Christmas, like the lights, the decoration, I just love everything about it. It's just so magical. I would have to say New Year's for me because, I don't know, Christmas and Thanksgiving just haven't been feeling the same to me these last couple of years. It just, everything feels rushed, everything feels off. Mm -hmm. But when New Year's comes, I get a sense of new beginnings, you know, and a new scenery, new sight, new challenges, new blessings. And I just look at it as just a new chapter. Ooh, Lord, excuse me. <laughs> I just be looking at it as a new chapter. Is what's your favorite thing to do together? Laugh. You're That's right. all we do. Like, all we do is laugh. I haven't seen my well, I haven't seen her because of the pandemic really in really like a week or two. And when we had went to go pick up our um, snacks and stuff, she literally pulled in laughing, y'all. She couldn't even park straight. That's how hard she was laughing. Who's most likely to survive in the desert by themselves? 
probably you. I can't see myself in a desert. Like I would, I would go crazy. Like, I, like y'all, I know I don't really like to use my zodiac sign for excuses of reasons why for different things, but I'm a Sagittarius and I like change a lot. Like I don't like the same stuff a lot of the time. I don't like being in the same place all the time. I get bored really fast. I just, I, I know I would lose my mind. That's why I know I just wouldn't survive being stranded in the desert. I probably would, I'm a Capricorn, you know, the best sign they have out there. Oh, Lord. But, got he! <laughs> got he! <laughs> really, because Capricorns like being on their own, and they don't really, you know, so that, there wouldn't be no difference just changing the environment, you'd just be taking care of yourself. Instagram, someone asked, what have y'all been doing these last couple of months? School, school, school. <laughs> right. They thought that colleges would be more considerate of kids during this time. No, they don't care. It's like, let me give you these many assignments, just turn it in. Okay. But Everything they fail to realize. Facts, and they fail to realize you have to grade all this stuff you give them. So go ahead, go ahead, keep assigning. Much school. That's also why I was gone for like two months. It's, what was the last movie you went to? What did you think? Well, we couldn't go to the movie, so like, what was the last movie you watched? Like in a movie theater or just movie period? A movie period. Leprechaun in the hood three. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That boy loved the leprechaun. Yep, I went and watched that. I'm trying to remember. I think the last movie I ever watched was The Platform. That's a really great movie. Somebody actually recommended it to me and I watched it and it was really good. So you guys should definitely check it out. Oh no, y'all lying. I, the last movie I watched actually was The Invisible Man. Oh, I never saw that. But yeah, I it's on Hulu. It. What's your favorite game or sport to watch and play? My favorite game to play is Uno. I could play Uno all day, every day. Me and my cousins play Uno almost every day at the park. But if I had to say something like I like to watch is baseball. I don't know what it is about baseball or softball games, but I just get so into it. I just love watching it. And plus I used to play softball. So that's just something for me. For me, I never really watched sports on TV, but I like to play them, if that makes sense. Like I never really mm -hmm. like to sit and watch other people play. I love the just the rushing feeling of playing myself. Like, you know, um, I played football, basketball, and I even did a little baseball. And I had just liked playing the game instead of watching it. Who would you want to be stranded with on a deserted island? Like just anybody or celebrity wise? Anybody. Probably Indiana Jones, cause you know, <laughs> <laughs> Man. Indiana Jones, I used to play the little game on the little 3DS. Indiana Jones was adventurous. He knew where to find a gym, so he, he you know, he gonna know where to find food and stuff. I never even played that game. It was fun. I honestly don't know who I would want to be stranded with because if I'm being completely honest, we, we all <laughs> There is no other word. <laughs> Deserted Island. Coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> that's that type of thing. It's spicy. Oh. Jasmine, my friend. Because Yo, that girl. We end up killing each other. That girl is crazy. And I know you're watching this. We've only been friends for like almost two years now. And like, we, we talk every single day. I just feel like we would just. I don't know, somehow come up with a plan to survive or escape. Speaking of Jasmine. Mm -hmm. oh, hi. Of course she calls when I was just talking about her. <laughs> and the last question is, what do you look for in your significant other? Um, For me, it would have to the be- The streets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, but no, for real, like for me, I just need a girl who's actually 
in school, invested in her future, and you know, just not like everybody else. I just need somebody that's different, but you on the right path. Right. Look for in a guy is like not only the way you carry yourself and like the way you care about like school or like your future see yourself in the next month like where do you want to be in life in the next year like kind of have some type of mindset of the things you want to achieve in your life so that's it for today's video if you guys liked it make sure that you guys give it a big thumbs up don't forget to comment subscribe turn on those post notifications don't forget to follow me on instagram and to check out byron's channel of course most of you hopefully were coming from his channel if you guys watched part one first before you came over here but let us know in the comments if you guys want to see any more videos of, of us together or any type of challenges or any type of other fun videos you guys would like to see us do. But that's it. I hope you guys liked it. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.